I was like, really? You had to shoot this on Valentine's Day? You scheduled it for this day? But then the next morning was me and Giovanni in the shower. So yeah. Sam was like, ah, it's fine. payback. <laughs> Most memorable, probably the dentist scene. That was a really difficult thing to shoot. And as you can imagine, um, intense. And I could never look away. And it probably took us a good four and a half, five hours to shoot that scene, <laughs> watching Aaron having his teeth drilled um, and of course you know I knew it wasn't real but it was just the intensity of the way his reactions the sounds of the drill it was really difficult I'd say that was the most challenging some of the uh, the tools were just yeah I don't know there was a few that were actually, actually like, real blood his teeth. Yeah, no, they were, the, you, you were like he's yeah. taken off the inside of the enamel of one of my teeth because yeah. even though we had you know different tools they still had metal and it was going on for hours so you know it would it would slip yeah. and... Some of that yeah. was probably real blood, yeah. The most um, funny, maybe humorous, was um, Giovanni Rabisi and, oh, and, yes. uh, and Aaron the shower scene. That was just gold. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's always awkward being naked in front of a whole crew and... In fact, the first time was um, was the the with the opening sequences. It was was our first day of shooting, so it was the first day I met everybody, and we actually wrote it in an empty space, and Sam filled it with uh, some background extras and artists. Yeah. So, so it actually filled the room with a lot of people. <laughs> I was like, thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> the beautiful thing was that Giovanni Ravizzi is incredible and awesome and game on, and and we both just was like, oh, should we just go? go for this like the idea that this would actually be more humorous if it was a wide shot and you really just felt the awkwardness and the brilliance of us just being um, you know tangling in one another and catching each other and you know in <laughs> such a way that just it's brilliant humor I think you know awkwardness is great so. Incredible. I mean, she, she she was one of those people that we cast, the last person we cast. And, and we cast her on a Friday and started filming on, on the Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. And so, um, and it happened like that for various reasons, but we, you know, she was in Sundance promoting another film and she had to read the book, the script, and be prepared for Tuesday morning. Mm. And she stepped in as if she'd been preparing for a year and the mm. most incredible performance. And uh, she's, she's incredible, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very lucky. No, it's definitely, it's definitely tough. I mean, the weird thing about that was it was scheduled on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I, I turned to my first AD, was my assistant director, and uh, you know when we're shooting the the love scene where they're they're going through the fake taking drugs, and I was like, really? You had to shoot this on Valentine's Day? You scheduled it for this day? But then the next morning was me and Giovanni in the shower, so yeah. Sam was like, ah, it's fine. payback. <laughs> We did a lot of research. I mean, we we spent 18 months writing it, and Aaron spent a lot of time with James. Um, James and Aaron went to. We went to the treatment center that he actually went to, and yeah. spent some time with his uh, closest friends, who would used to visit him, and uh, and his brother. Um, we spent time with the counselors, and um, and went through the kind of whole process of this this the system of the 12 steps. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, we've also got many friends who have been in and out uh, of, uh, of addiction and some that are sober and some that have relapsed. And I think you just take, uh, you know, personal accounts to it and experience that you've seen and, and try and put it all together, you know, and be as authentic as possible and, and respectful as possible. I don't know if there's any sort of surprises, but Billy Bob obviously is someone who can like demand a lot of attention on set so you know yeah. he's always got great stories and yeah. incredibly funny and Giovanni I think is fantastic Juliette Lewis is brilliant Charlie Hunnam is just uh, you know a sweetheart Charlie and, uh, was amazing as well because I, I felt like it was the most soulful performance and mm. you know we didn't have him you know that much time with him and the time that he gave and the performance that he gave was just so mm. it was just so beautiful to watch and 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 I think it, you know everyone brought something so different and and surprising in their in their own way and you know Juliette Lewis and and seeing her play something 
like this was just, you know, it, it was just so heartbreaking in so many different ways. And and uh, and Billy Bob, you know, he came on set and said, wow, this is the first time I've had to share a trailer for a, a good couple of decades. So, you know, everyone really kind of gave their soul to something, you know, for the love of the project. Professional race. Well, we've kind of done a bunch of things in between. We did, yes. Yeah, so after No Way Boy, we did uh, an REM music video, and um, I think even from that, kind of this kind of came from that. It was a spur of a, a thought of just wanting to know more about that kind of character or person. So uh, we did a Givenchy campaign together, and um, we've always wanted to find a project. So it, it kind of it was brilliant that, in fact, it was a project that we ended up co-writing and, and really putting all of Sam's thoughts and ideas into it and bringing her voice to the screen, so it felt natural. I think I quite like the freedom of being able to shoot something and be, you know, creatively as wild as I could be with this. And, and that really was afforded because the budget was small, the time constraints were tight. Um, but not to say that I wouldn't want to do something with a bigger budget and more time. Um, listen, I never say no to anything. It depends what it is. And, and I'm very much, I'm, I'm quite sort of feet first jumping into things and and seeing where they take me. So I've never really sort of said, I'm never going to do this again, or I'm never going to do that. So, you know, it, it depends what the project is. So maybe, who knows? But I did enjoy this out of anything I've ever done, and probably because it was such a small, budgeted movie. I think that's... Um... I think they're trying to figure things out like that. I don't know. I think, yeah, I think there's a, it's kind of complicated because I obviously uh, was uh, didn't survive from the last Avengers, so. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed working with everyone on Avengers and, and, and I mean, it's a great family over there and, and, and I love watching them. Um, I think, uh, you know, if a character is right and they've got some storyline that can, can create that, that, that character strong enough, then, then anything's possible, you know. A musical. <laughs> I don't know, we haven't got anything that works, but something I feel like I would like to do, um, at, you know, with working with Aaron next would be something like that, something with music, something with dance, but nothing in the pipeline, but always we've talked about that from day one, I think. I might just be saying that because we've just done a really dark, small, low budget film, but that's my knee jerk reaction today. I mean, a dance is definitely a background I've been in. Yeah, tap dancing. I used to, yeah, do a lot of tap dancing. Um, musicals, old school musicals like um, Singing in the Rain, anything like that, you know, Gene Kelly stuff or, or you know, things like that were definitely influences through, through even out this as well. So, uh, yeah. who knows? <laughs>